Hey guys, it's Angie. In this tutorial, I will be casting a positive in the silicone life cast from my previous video. If you have not seen that video yet, I will add a card to the screen now and also put a link below. I started by cleaning the release off the silicone using paper towels and alcohol. Next, I plugged any of the holes in the life cast with the same silicone I used for the cast. I mixed up a small batch of equal parts A and B of the Smooth On Body Double. Then I smoothed that into the nostrils and also used it to patch any air pockets. I placed my silicone mold into a bucket to help stabilize it. For the positive, I'm going to be casting it using UltraCal 30. UltraCal is a gypsum cement that is widely used in the special effects industry. It comes in a powder form and is activated when water is added. Once it sets, it forms a hard, durable cast that can be baked in an oven. To mix the UltraCal, I added about 3 fourths of an inch of water to a bucket, then I sprinkled the UltraCal into the water in an even layer. I kept sprinkling the UltraCal until it was peeking over the top of the water. There really is no precise measurement, but when the surface starts to resemble a cracked riverbed, it's time to mix. I like to mix with my hands so I can fill for any clumps, and I do advise wearing gloves for this. The initial layer or the beauty coat of the live cast needs to be very smooth, so make sure to mix until there are no clumps. Next with a chip brush, I painted on a thin coat of the UltraCal mixture. This layer again is called the beauty coat, and it's super important to get this layer of UltraCal in all the details of the cast. It's also important to keep this layer on the thin side. Once that layer is down, I begin to use my chip brush to fling more UltraCal into the mold. This technique is important because it allows you to add more UltraCal without brushing it on and disturbing the coat below. And at this point, I let the UltraCal thicken up a bit. Once it starts to look matte, it's time to add the next layers. I mixed up another batch of the UltraCal and gently spread a thin layer onto the first coat. Next, I begin dipping squares of burlap into the UltraCal, folding them in half and adding them to the inside of the live cast. Then I gently rub the burlap to release any air trapped beneath. I repeated this process covering the inside area in four layers of the burlap. This is going to create the bulk of the mold and also strengthen it as well. I do like to add a bar to my positives so it's easier to pop them open once I've molded. So for this I use shower curtain rods. I measure the length I need, then I place the rod into a vise, and then I use a handsaw to cut it. To add the rod to the mold, I stuff thin strips of burlap coated in UltraCal into the ends, then place it into the center of the positive. Then I'll reinforce the rods with more thin strips of UltraCal coated burlap. At this stage, the UltraCal is going to start setting, so I did add a final coat of the UltraCal. And once it is almost set, I will start smoothing out the surface with my hands. The positive should be ready to pop out in about 30 minutes. It's going to get very, very hot, so do not touch it. And once it starts to cool down, once it's slightly warm to the touch, Go ahead and remove the plaster jacket and the silicone. As is the case most of the time, the positive is going to need some cleanup. I started by sanding off any little air bubbles of UltraCal. And for the bigger bits, I used a rotary tool like the Dremel to sand those off. For the edges, I used a rasp to sand off any of the sharpness. This is really important so that you don't cut your fingers while you're working with your positive. I will be using a product called Acryl 60 to patch up any holes and correct undercuts. I mixed up some of the UltraCal with the Acryl 60 to form a paste. Next, I begin to fill in any areas with the paste and then I smooth them out with my finger. The nose in this cast was pretty atrocious, so I basically used the paste to sculpt in a new nose tip. Once the paste is dry, I lightly sand it over it just to make it as smooth as possible. And that's going to be it for this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Let's try to get this video to a thousand likes. 
Also, like up this video if you guys want to see a tutorial on sculpting. If you guys want to see it, you gotta give me a thumbs up. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.